Did you just threaten Superman? Don't do that. I'm guessing that's Ariel for The Little Mermaid. Never seen that. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never- Generic intro in the deck gives me. We're back with some more Death Battle reactions. Today we have Aquaman versus Namor, I think is what his name is. I've never heard of him before. I have heard of Aquaman. I've never seen anything that Aquaman is in though. So this should be a really interesting experience. I'm guessing Namor is the Marvel character. I'm guessing, like I said, I have absolutely no idea. But thank you so much for clicking on the video. I react to these death battles all the time. So I hope you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos. You're gonna check my last one, which is Thanos vs. Darkseid. Wow, that was insane. I'll leave it right up there. Also, link down below in the description. Also, be in a place to my channel with all the other death battle reactions. Current record is 46 and 32, I believe. So I've gotten 46 of them right and 32 of them wrong for a lot of these characters that I've never heard of before. So I apologize for that. I know you all give me so much flack in the comment section. I read every single comment, but if you're here watching the videos, hopefully they make you smile. Hopefully they make your day better. Shout out to patrons down below. Think of the videos a day early. Love it to not have a paywall on the channel, which is very, very important to me. And literally $3 a month gets you a month's worth of reaction videos a day before they go public, which is like 60 videos for $3 a month. So it's pretty cheap. It's pretty cheap, but I've increased my video production like crazy, and the patron tiers have stayed the same. So thank you to all the patrons, thank you to everybody subscribed, and everybody that leaves a comment and likes the videos, and thank you to everybody just watching my videos, it really means the world to me. Let's go ahead and jump into Aquaman vs. Namor, though. So I'm guessing you this is the start the of hidden the new season, because Thanos vs. Darkseid was the season now. And me. With more than 100 oh, okay, I thought they were gonna like, just be like, Number oh, 23andMe.com slash death battle. No. Again, that's 23andMe.com yeah. slash death battle. My mom did that and found out I'm... Oh God, it's a logo. That never worked. It never worked on the website. Cause I remember well, racking to use Ruby and stuff with it and it sea. never worked. Yeah, real obvious, but it seen, turns out seen that movie. a bunch of superheroes that's... down there too. I don't oh, I thought think that you was understand what that phrase means. Like Aquaman, Aquaman, the King of Atlantis. And Namor, the first mutant. Namor. Also King of Atlantis. Not Namor. He's with also. Time Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their more than weapons, one armor, and skills to find out who would win Why does he wings on the ankles? There's Jason Momoa. They don't get mermaids. I mean, is that? they're kind of hot, but they're That's fish people. And then when you meet them, all they want to do is try to kill you. I guess Tom oh. Curry got to be one of the lucky ones, if you know what I mean. After a chance meeting, Tom was left to father Arthur, the son of a mysterious Arthur. woman of the sea. Though she thinks she was knocked up by a fish Jesus wizard? It's not huh? important. Comics are weird. Regardless, Arthur yeah. learned to hone his aquatic powers from a very young age. Pounds? When Arthur was just two years old, poor Tom thought he had drowned when he was actually just playing with some fish while underwater. breathing underwater. Tom trained Arthur to master his powers until eventually his Found mother showed up with a heavy dose so of it is DC. Arthur was the rightful king of the underwater city, Atlantis. Uh, it was and where is this at? Stories about parents coming back. In real life, too. And so, Arthur would descend I the ocean to fast. claim his birthright and maintain the peace between land and sea as the king, but the superhero, Most people don't know Aquaman. Atlantis exists. Oh, are you one of the uh, people who thinks that Aquaman is lame? Well, think again. No? He's super strong, is he supposed super to be lame? fast, and can chill deep underwater for as long as he wants. And no, he doesn't so just he... talk to fish. He dominates their brains and forces them to bend to his will. What is that uh, monster? If he What's the Leo blurred on? He prefers to telepathically communicate with them, and most sea life respects him enough to come to his aid. Except for piranhas, apparently. Team which C's. ate off his freaking hand. I know you're a hard huh? badass, but make those fish bow to your kingly kingship, damn it. Wait, Not to worry. After a few gaudy hooks and a magic water hand, he got better. Arthur controls How do you get better? By How do you get better? A worldwide phenomenon called the clear. Kind of like the Force from Star Wars, but no, I've never seen Star Wars. Ocean. Through the clear, creatures he controls increase in strength. Some even become capable of breaking so free from constructs. Also, Arthur's powers are not limited to just that? aquamarine life. He telepathically communicates with all sorts of animals and can even There's tap a into the human mind. Wait, wait, you're telling me he can mess with my brain too? Back to the future? Oh, get my hat with Yeah, back to the future. Shiny one. Well, he has difficulty dominating more intelligent life. His octopus friend Topo is one such example of a being he cannot forcibly control. An octopus. So octopus are really smart. That little guy. Oh, oh, yeah. What? What? And for Why is what? The most Aquaman can generally do is cause a headache or maybe a seizure. That doesn't maybe make a seizure? much better. 
Yeah, Marvel, Aquaman has yeah, plenty of power on his small. own. He also draws from the mystical might of his most iconic weapon. The legendary Trident, the Trident. of Poseidon. The Maserati logo. And also the Trident of Neptune. Wait, huh? isn't that the same god? Aren't they the same thing? Well, kind of. They both can control water, summon storms, create force fields, and unleash lightning. That These animation. Can teleport. Awesome. That one can teleport. Do it. Do Where are you trying to teleport to? You have A brewery? To water. You think beer will work? Maybe. <laughs> Jocelyn! I mean, it is water. Pull in the keg. I'm going to Disney World. Yeah, cup. With added cup flight, hydrokinesis, earth manipulation, and more, Aquaman's trident was a perfect symbol to prove himself. A the Aquaman movie's king. good. Literally, he's heard that Amber heard of around oceanic she's not lakes, good, apparently. Throw a submarine around with water magic and lift this giant water cruise magic? ship. This ship appears big enough to ship? compare to the world's largest cruise liner, the Symphony of the Seas, which weighs an incredible 228,000 tons. He's fast enough to keep up with Wonder Woman and swim around the That's whole impressive. planet in just an afternoon. Oh, and he even fought the ancient dead king of Atlantis, Atlan. Huh? This guy was so strong, he sank Atlan. Atlantis centuries ago with one blow oh. of his scepter, and Aquaman held back a repeat of the same attack with his bare hands. While there's no official okay. size for DC's Atlantis, it is officially considered a continent. Therefore, it has to have a greater landmass than Greenland, the largest island in the world. This You're means correct. Atlantis must consist of more than 836,000 square miles. To sink or destroy it, that's Atlantis a lot. Must have been outputting potential energy averaging more than 155 trillion tons of TNT. Yeah, what? Everyone's always making fun of Aquaman, but I he's mean, pretty badass. Well, he compared to Thanos and Dark Side, though. Rather lame weakness. He's essentially fueled by water. If he's away from water for too long, he'll start to dry so out. So go in a desert. His powers. And eventually die. Is that how most humans are? He wears yellow, and he's absorbent. Whiz! I figured it out. SpongeBob. Oh no! He's no. Not SpongeBob. Moving on. Are you sure about that? Well, what if they did a SpongeBob death battle? Around the water problem. Who he fight? hydrate himself with blood. God damn, that's hardcore. Even with his flaws, Aquaman huh? is always pushing forward to protect his people. He may seem strange and silly, but he truly is a worthy king of Atlantis. Tell the service I mean, dwellers to respect the sovereignty of my seas, or we'll return and finish what we've started. Are you, did you just threaten Superman? Don't do that. We all know this story. A wayward sailor meets a mermaid princess, and they fall in love. I'm guessing that's yeah, Ariel for the Little the Mermaid. Never seen that. Pressures and dragged the princess back to her secret home of Atlantis. Her dad was pretty pissed, but he got yeah. even more pissed when he found out that uh, Daddy's girl had already been knocked up and popped out a brand that, new kind of superhero. That took Namor, no time at all. The Submariner. The Submariner, like relics. Atlantis is the prince of the deep. Yeah, Unlike the those strangely similar aquatic superhero DC would create two years later, Namor would oh, grow up among Namor his fellow Atlanteans first? from the start. As the Six, Prince two, of the Ocean, he received an impressive royal education, along with a sizable oh, distrust man. of humankind. Yeah, I'd huh. have a problem with humans too if some of the first people I ever met were Nazis. As the rightful heir to the That's... throne, it was Namor's okay. duty to protect Atlantis. And with his mixed heritage, he had plenty of unique. Yo, he's just picking up a boat. Is he's he got flying. Superhuman strength, speed, and durability. He's he flying. Store water in his body and shoot it out of his pores like a human sprinkler. Okay, which Squirtle. Is gross. Far more impressively, he can telepathically communicate with all types of marine life, including just marine other Atlanteans, life? and can persuade them to follow his commands. Whether it be mm. a squadron of armored sharks or a giant armored whale, sharks, the what? creatures of the sea follow the first mutant's lead. Did you say mutant? Yes. Technically, Namor is a three-way hybrid of human, Atlantean, and mutant genes. Unlike other oh, okay. Atlanteans, he possesses the mutant power of flight. Oh, is that why he's Yeah, he has little wings on his ankles. Little wings on his feet? I always thought those That's were like weird. little rudders. Nope. He flies with no. them. Wow. They are so that tiny. Dumb. Namor can <laughs> also mimic the abilities of marine life. Sensing lateral lines like fish or absorbing and discharging shocks like an electric eel. And for even more power, what were eels he wields before? his legendary trident. Like, okay. Alright, how many tridents does this guy have? Let Just me one guess. Problem. Four. Just one. The trident yeah. of Neptune. But I thought Wait, the other guy had go. a trident of Neptune. Neptune. Oh! I think I just figured out why Aquaman had two different tridents. 
There you go. Th well, this Wait, did he steal it? What? Magic powers. It can control water, shoot lasers, turn people invisible, Lego. and if Namor needs some backup, he can animate objects and his surroundings to create living beings to fight alongside him. And that's not okay. even the only magic doohickey Namor has. He can use the horn of Proteus to summon sea monsters like Giganto, which is a super whale with arms. Look oh, yeah, back to like Marvel vs. DC. I'm starting a new subreddit. The Giganto oh, no. is strong Birds enough to withstand the blast of an atomic bomb, and yet it still pales in comparison to Namor's own strength. No, How strong is he? The Submariner is strong enough he to match Hulk. the savage, incredible Hulk, who's lifted 150 billion tons of rock for over a minute. If that's the Hulk. not good enough for you, how about the time Namor held up a whole freaking island all by himself? He's quick enough to catch okay. the Human Torch, absorbed and discharged electricity powerful enough to injure Doctor Doom, took on Thor, tried oh, to Doctor Doom, what? Survived a mountain falling on him, and even resisted the mind control powers of the Purple Man. See, Boomstick. Who's the, the Purple grand Man? Of things, little winged feet aren't so bad when you could have been called Purple Man. All right, yeah. Namor is pretty awesome for an elf in a speedo. Oh Excuse man, me? this is gonna this be is real close. This is not a speedo, Jimmy. Okay, these are my panties from Atlantis. <laughs> too bad he gets a bit uh, unstable I don't be if he's out of the water for too long. True, Namor's so just, had a strange history of fight shifting in the personalities. Sometimes even playing the part of villain. Apparently, the his bouts Doom? of anger stem from a strange bipolar defect brought on by oxygen imbalance, which. Last I checked, isn't quite how bipolar disorder works. No. No, Wiz, I have the same kind of problem. I get super evil and grumpy when I haven't had a beer in at least 24 hours. 24? Oh, 24. Uh, 12. 6. Minutes. 2. Yeah, screw you. Boomstick, <laughs> that's a chemical dependency. Ah, just like my personal hero, Bane. You're missing the point. Yeah. Oh, I guess. you think the point is your ally, but you merely adopted the point. I was born in it. Oh, oh he's it. pretending to be Bane because Bane talks like that. How about that point? Ow. At the end of the Wait, day, not his good foot. He only has one foot. His veins, the avenging son is a heroic king of his people and a terrifying opponent. No, but Ooh, I man, I was like, ruler, look, Aquaman's really strong. Kind of like, oh yeah, you hold up an island. Is like, over. All right, the uh. are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. But Do first, all possibilities, you say? Has any fish on the oh, menu this week? There's right, a lot of fish I've never had. I've Blue only Apron, ever had the leading meal kit delivery service. tuna and shrimp. That's it. I don't eat seafood. But I'm going to have a food reaction channel. So. Uh, the record's 46 and 32. Usually, I would go with the DC character. But I'm going to go with Namor. Look out below! I'm going to go with Namor in this situation. Has At least this... Thanks. Place that a pool. The Prince of Blood? Plenty of space around the pool, Smock. <sighs> Come, Smock. Hey, look. Oh, because normal people just carry tritons with them when they go swimming at a public pool. You may be a prince. Well, that element is real the fast. King of the Seven Seas. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. I really don't know. I have a feeling that Namor might be better. You know? So. Also, Aquaman is a really old DC character. But, like, most of the Marvel and DC characters when I have death battles, usually the DC character wins because they're absolutely insane. Dark side. Now we're out in the middle of the ocean. Because, of course, we are. He also can do electricity. And can do that. Oh. Uh oh. Bring an animate object to fight. Yeah. This animation is pretty sick. I will not submit. Oh, okay. Controls the weather, of course. Uh. Oh. Well, that's concerning. I think he's struck by lightning. Yeah, just powered him up. Have that. Yeah, that background. Hey, look, it's, it's uh, Kame House in Total Island in Roshi. Everyone has their place. That's just how things are. Do his piranhas attack you him? Should understand yours. Are they gonna? Oh God, it's gonna be a fish-on-fish fish battle. Such a terrific dumbass. 
But armored sharks, though. Where's the armored sharks? Show me armored sharks. That's a dolphin. Huh? Why? Wh why did you need a dolphin to do that? Ow! Did he catch that? Oh, we're we're descending into the bottom of the ocean. Ooh. Let's see whose power truly controls the sea. Yeah, this is. Yeah, who's the stronger? I dig it. Well, considering Aquaman can't work on piranhas, Namor can't like doesn't work on any non-fish, you know? Seems we're evenly matched. Or maybe I've been saving another trick. And what would that be? No! You control me! Wait, he can do that. Wait, that's not good. This isn't going good. Oh no, he's dead. Aquaman won? Oh wow, and of course he got the head through there. Huh. Let me know if you agree or disagree. I'm not sure how they came to this conclusion. Am I underwater or am I just sweating so much from Also got really dark. Aquaman and Namor's powers were so similar and well matched, this fight could have reasonably gone in either one's favor. In fact, yeah. neither had many powers that the other did not possess in some way. Exactly, they're very like Namor similar. Namor had his mutant wing feet, but Aquaman's magic trident could let him fly too. Still, he while could? Namor could certainly okay. have won this in some circumstances, Aquaman had the potential he needed to take the victory more times than not. Namor like could match Savage Hulk, who held up 150 billion tons. But yeah. However, Aquaman stopped Atlan's continent-crushing attack, which had a potential energy over 150 trillion tons of hmm. TNT. Not I was waiting for them to put like a caveat person, in that. But consider Namor's own similar feat, keeping the island Utopia from falling. We can estimate island the Utopia? island size and weight using oh, this that's way smaller. coming to a that's little way over 170,000 tons. Considering the weight applied as force through the pillar Namor was pushing up, this means the potential energy exerted onto Namor would only be 1,425 yeah. tons of TNT. Why are you putting the that in TNT? The energy Aquaman stopped was 109 yeah, billion that's not even close. times greater. Sure, Namor was fast enough to easily catch up to the Human Torch, who flies over 140 miles per hour on a normal day, and That's sometimes it? even thousands Seems of times slow. the speed of sound. But Aquaman okay, has routinely better. kept pace with Wonder Woman, who has been frequently she is kind of insane. thousands of times the speed of light. I yeah, completely forgot about that. Strength and speed would matter if the Submariner just ordered a bunch of sharks. Any Marvel versus DC right? fight, I just gotta go with DC, I guess. Sure, but Aquaman could directly dominate their minds and force them to act on his will. And while Except Namor can telepathically communicate with other Atlanteans, he could not create hemorrhages or seizures like Aquaman could. Though Namor could certainly yeah. resist these mental attacks, similar to how he survived the Purple Man, this is exactly. still solid evidence what are talking that about? Aquaman's telepathy was more powerful. Oh, and don't forget, Aqua King can make his underwater buddies physically stronger with the clear. Oh, uh, yeah, you can bust them. Commanding plain old everyday fish. Overall, while they're everyday fish, what counts as an everyday fish? Matched, Aquaman had the edge in just enough of them Not to buff prove one. himself the strongest king of the sea. I guess Aquaman could the strength see victory, and the speed. So. The winner is Aquaman. Jason Momoa, of course, wins. What's the next one going to be? Hey, I thanks think for watching the first Mega episode of Season 6. If you want the battle music season for yourself, wow. click the link below. Want a new show to watch? Check out Genlock. It's crazy. It's got Genlock. Anime, I think awesome. they just came out with Jordan. more somehow, uh, Genlock. I react to Genlock. It's on my channel. I think it's on my channel. Yeah, the next one's going to be a Mega Man like Battle Royale or something. Mega Man Battle Royale. Yeah. That should be the next one. February 25th. February YouTube. Okay. Yeah, let me know if you agree or disagree in the comment section. I read each and every comment down below, and I reply to a lot of them. So you know I'm reading your comments, and I talk about back and forth with you all the time. I love reading your comments. If somebody's being, you know, extra salty or just trying to pick a fight, you can ignore them. You don't know how to go into it. But if they're actually being ridiculous, let me or moderator know, and we'll just have them removed. It won't be a problem. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know how to feel about it. I learned about Namor. I've never heard about him until now. I've heard of Aquaman before. Should I check out the Aquaman movies at some point? I'm not really sure. They seem interesting. I love Jason Moa. I watched Game of Thrones, so Jason Moa was in that as well. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hope to see you next one. Make sure you're subscribed. Leave some comments down below. But until next video, take care and keep the music. We were